Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome today for a warfare prayer as we continue to come against thrones, to come against gates and evil altars, and all strong men and all authorities of the enemy. We're going to bind, we're going to loosen, and we're going to cast out every demonic spirit that is causing you trouble. As we have just concluded the three-day weekend of strongholds come tumbling down, this is a prayer for you today to see those strongholds come tumbling down. Hallelujah. Proverbs 20 verse 8 says, When a king sits on his throne to judge, he scatters out all evil with his eyes. And according to Luke 1 verse 52, he has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. See, there truly is a great battle going on around us, precious saints. And when we fast, it is a form of spiritual warfare that brings us directly into battle against the forces of darkness. See, spiritual warfare directly conflicts with demonic strongholds and deception that requires spiritual weaponry and armor according to Ephesians 6 verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. See, warfare prayer is the application of strategic level spiritual warfare to uproot the prevailing spiritual strongholds that hinder the advancing of God's kingdom within your life and within others around you. The demonic realm is stirred up to rage against the victories that we are getting from seeing thrones, gates and altars and strong men cast out start to tumble down within your life. See, we must not be discouraged or deterred from moving forward to take back God's inheritance within our life and also within our loved ones and that of our nations. Though the the enemy rages against us. We will see the kingdom of God and his throne occupy hearts, regions, and nations, precious saints. No matter what the enemy is doing to you right now, he always overplays his hand through pride, which will cause hidden things to be revealed and his strategies to be turned upon his own camp, precious saints. So if you are in need of any incentive today to continue to march forward, to continue to know that your fasting is not in vain, that your praying is not in vain. We're going to see those thrones and gates and altars destroyed apart from the primary benefits as we go into a deeper intimacy with Lord and as we are preparing for his rapture and his return the Holy Spirit is also building up relationship with you that you may prepare your oil to be full at all times let us start to press into God to see your breakthrough today So I want you to agree with the declarations and prayers being prayed over you right now. And I want you to allow the Holy Spirit to bring that freedom, to pull down, to uproot, to build and to plant within your life. Allow God to do what he knows to do best within your life, that you will testify continually of God's goodness. Let us pray, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come before your mercy seat today through the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, let the earth shake and tremble and also the hills and their foundations. Let them be moved and shaken because you are my God. Yes, for your word says in Psalm 18 verse 15, it says, let the 
channels of the wicked waters be seen and their foundations exposed at the blast of his nostrils. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, O oh Lord, we rebuke any evil foundations within our life and cast them back into the pit of hell in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, any power of ignorance holding us captive and preventing us from destroying any evil foundations loose your hold over us now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ we now bring the fullness of your cross and death and blood and sacrifice and resurrection life and empty tomb and your authority rule and dominion and we bring judgment from the Lord Jesus Christ against every foul power, witchcraft, black magic and curse and every throne and every altar and every gate right now in Jesus name. I bring right now and we thank you Lord as we bring Jesus Christ cursed for us against all curses that have been raised against us, written, spoken, unspoken or transferred to us in the name of Jesus. Christ. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare that every legal hold and every legal ground of the enemy to be broken, disarmed and destroyed today in Jesus' name. Satan has no hold over us now through curses or occult practices, through sacrifices or any rituals of any kind. Lord, that we have done of known of or unknown from our former generations. Lord, I pray through the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord, that we are free and we thank you, Jesus, for setting us free. And we order these curses and claims utterly disarmed, dismantled right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, through the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, there is power. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we command all demonic spirits that have gained access to us through curses and rituals to be cut off and banished from us and our house in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we break and loosen from ourselves and our families from all curses caused by habits, charms, hexes, spells, jinxes, psychic powers, sorcery, witchcraft, love potions, psychic prayers, violence, trauma, physical bondages, mental bondages, incest. Lord, any abandonment, any spirit of rejection and divination in the family on our mother or father's sides will be going all the way back right now to 50 generations in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce, break and loose ourselves and our family from all other religions that are contrary to a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, the Messiah, Yeshua. Lord, I pray today in the name of Jesus Christ, we command Satan to loose all natural resources, land, animals, money, the finances of people who owe us money, and all the things that have been stolen from our family that are ours, and even through the blessings of Jesus today, may they be poured out more than ever before. Father, please send your angels to bring these things back to us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Lord, I thank you. When the thief is found, he must return back seven times according to Proverbs 6 verse 31. I pray right now the enemy shall return back seven times at all that he has stolen from our lives and that of our loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says according to Mark 16 verse 17 and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils. We are a believer in 
in you, Lord Jesus. And we exercise our authority to expel all evil spirits. And we command them to leave right now, each person, according to the word of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father in heaven, please send your Holy Spirit to fill us in the name of Jesus Christ. And we ask for legions upon legions of warrior angels from heaven in the name of Jesus to station around each person in their homes right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we command right now, Lord, an attack right now against every unclean spirit working against us in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind the principalities, powers and rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness and all the strong men demons in the name of Jesus Christ. And we command all demons not to transfer but go exactly where Jesus says right now back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ we cancel all demonic assignments on each person that is listening and over our loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ I pray right now in the name of Jesus we separate every foul spirit from each person that is listening right now in accordance to your word Lord Hebrews 4.12 it says that the word of God is sharper than a two-edged soul. It is, it comes and divides between the soul and the spirit, in the bone and the marrow. I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ, we cut off every foul spirit from each person that is listening today with the sword of the spirit, unclean spirits. We command you to manifest and come out of them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Demons, we command you to come out out of their mouth right now and never come back and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Go back to the pit. Go back to the pit. You will up and out and come out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I thank you that every evil spirit that hears my voice right now, I command you and tell you the truth right now. You must come out of them you must come out of them. You must come out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. You must come out of them. I command that evil spirit right now. That particular stubborn spirit. You will tell me my, your name right now. You will confess your name demon right now. You will confess it right now. I command you. I command you. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will come out of that person. I command you. That's right. I command you, you evil spirit. You will come out of them right now. And you will go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Your legal rights are broken. Your legal rights are broken through the blood and the confession of sin right now in the name of Jesus Christ that every evil spirit that hears my voice right now I command you right now to come out of that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ come out of them come out of them come out of them in the name of Jesus Christ come out of that person right now come out of that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ right now come out of them Come out of them. Come out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father in heaven, send power from the third heaven to destroy those demons right now that are stubborn right now in the name of Jesus Christ. They will come out of that person and lead them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against every unclean spirit, but the blood of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, the Messiah, right now, this is a child of God. God and you will no longer have your hold over them because their body has been sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ and we rebuke and cast out every unclean spirit back to the pit of hell and we command them right now never to return in the name of Jesus Christ worry angels you will hook into the demons and also rip them apart and remove them by fire right now in the name of Jesus Christ send the demons to the pit of hell right now in in the name of Jesus Christ. Flog those demons right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare, Lord, that each person shall overcome 
but the blood of Jesus Christ, that every satanic foundation and prisons that are binding them to evil, Lord, to their father's house or their mother's house, which has stolen from them in any way or, or shape or form, we claim today, Lord, that they will overcome through the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. I decree that they will right now expose every household enemy. Lord, that I pray right now that every household enemy will be exposed upon your people in the name of Jesus Christ. And I break every evil foundation that has been resisting their promotion and breakthroughs in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray right now. Lord, we pray right now that every voice of evil foundation speaking on their behalf, Lord, let the every evil foundation propagating evil covenants within their lives be bound, be chained, be paralyzed and be destroyed and cast out of them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every gate of the enemy anchoring bondage within their life be uprooted today by the Holy Spirit fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every gate anchoring stubborn problems within your life be loosened today from your foundation in the name of Jesus Christ. Let all the unseen gates working any mischief within your life be revealed and uprooted by the Holy Spirit fire in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let every gate hindering the entrance of the word of God within your life must now be removed in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we uproot and throw out of your life the gates promoting hell within your life, the gates of unforgiveness, the gates of prayerlessness, or the gates of bitterness, the gates of anger, the gates of malice, the gates of lying, the gates of stealing, the gates of poverty be removed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we stand upon your word. Lord, we stand upon your word today and command the demolition of all satanic gates to both household wickedness and other forms of evil activities promoted by any evil foundation, altars and gates be destroyed by fire today within their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray today, Lord, for the remaining of this year, Lord, that you will remove every mountain, every mountain before them, Lord, that is stopping them, that is hindering them this year, be removed because God will cause you to walk upon you in those high places, in the places of honor, promotion and elevation in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Father, I decree today by God's grace, Lord, as we even see this year's end, Lord, that there shall be blessings that will follow each person even as they wait upon you to come in the day of your rapture. Lord, I pray right now, Lord, that whatever sin that is known to them right now. Let them repent right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray I renounce and remove Lord, today from each person and from their families from the demands of every ungodly covenant that is associated with any evil altar that had empowered the devourer against their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ who paid our price on the cross for us on Calvary, we boldly break every link and contact that we have ever had with the demonic world through the altars knowingly or unknowingly in the name of Jesus Christ. Every altar carrying out instructions from any evil foundations to hinder your people be set ablaze by the fire of the all-consuming God in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, it is you Lord that has given us the power to create wealth therefore we paralyze and destroy every evil altar today holding us back from prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ every satanic power or spell
hell working against our finances and blessings be rendered powerless this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you for according to your word in Deuteronomy 28, 12, you have promised to open the floodgates of heaven in Jesus' mighty name. Any legal rights and curses placed upon us through participation of any ritual, knowingly or unknowingly, Lord, that was programmed into our spirit, soul, and body by the occult altars be destroyed and rendered powerless this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we stand upon your word and the authority of your son Jesus Christ today and command that the enemy release all of our blessings, our virtue, or anything that has been blocked by any evil altars in the name of Jesus Christ. Every blockage hindering our walk with the Lord be removed and every mountain created by any evil altars be leveled today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we pray for the fire of God to consume and destroy all these family and ancestral altars bring their effects within our lives to naught in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you today, Lord, that you will take place, that you will have your way within each person's life today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. Any stubborn and unyielding strong men and problems that any person has been experienced within their life. Lord, I pray that they shall be rendered powerless this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you today, Lord, that you would owe, owe and bring about your purpose within each person's life today. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we recognize, Lord, we recognize by virtue of our relationship with you, Lord, Lord, that we are engaging in warfare with the kingdom of Satan. So today we come against all strongholds of the enemy today and we first step is to declare today war against the enemy because Jesus Christ, the captain of the Lord's hosts and our Lord and Savior and we commit ourselves to you and your leadership wholeheartedly and we place our life fully within your hands. We thank you for your word tells us that we are equipped now with the full armor of God according to Ephesians 6. Yes, Lord, so that we can stand victorious in this battle, that we can also pull down arguments and strongholds in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, any stronghold or strong man within our life that is hindering us, Lord Jesus, help us in this battle so that we can follow you without obstructions in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we also remove any high place, throne, gate, and altar or stronghold within our life that may be hindering us or any allegiance to any old pattern or behavior that we may have had previously. Lord, I lay it down now in the name of Jesus Christ as we lay down all things at your feet today and we know that you will have your way today. We command every stronghold of fear worry and anxiety to be pulled down within our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we decree and declare that every stronghold of anger within our life to be destroyed and the demon cast out back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let any agent of darkness masquerading as our friends be exposed and brought to the light in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, whatever evil altar is speaking against our life, our health, our business, our family, our children, our properties be destroyed by the Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we command all strong men and evil patterns within our life to depart and to go back to the pit of hell now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we release the fire of the Holy Spirit against every evil strong man within our father's house or within our mother's house right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we break every cycle of evil pattern within our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we command every evil cycle existing within our family to be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every evil plan of the enemy 
to stop our miracles be broken to pieces today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the blood of Jesus erase the legal ground that the enemy has against us in the name of Jesus Christ. I command all the strongholds of the enemy within our life to be abolished today in the name of Jesus Christ. I command all words contrary to God's word spoken against or over us to fall down to the ground and to bear no fruit in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I come against all false prophecy, all false prophecy to be brought down also in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I release fiery angels right now to remove every stone stumbling block over your people's lives, over their paths to success in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, all that we are and all that we have, we commit fully to you today. We offer ourselves to you, Lord, and to you alone. Lord, even as we engage in spiritual warfare for the sake of your kingdom, Lord, that no one, that you enable us to pull down the strongholds in your name, not only individual strongholds, but also national ones. Lord, we come and we pray. We come against all those high places. You are the one who removes high places, Lord, and you remove them and pull down one and exalt another. We thank you, Lord, that every loss or delay be removed today in the name of Jesus Christ. We break free from every hindrance. We break our family free also from every hindrance. We break also our churches free from every hindrance. We break our destiny free also from every hindrance in the name of Jesus Christ. We receive strength in Christ to move forward in progress and prosperity and that we will not be discouraged. We will not be confounded we will not be dismayed because you, the Lord God, goes before us and is with us. And today you have and will make your way with us in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your divine wisdom of strategies to accomplish the vision, Lord, that you have put within our hearts and strategies to accomplish the breakthroughs that we are also believing you to bring about. And even the establishment of of prophetic words that have been spoken over our lives, Lord, that nothing of the enemy may stop what you have spoken shall come to pass. Even as we tarry for your coming, Lord, I pray for breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, specifically, Lord, we bring forth anything that is on our mind right now and we bring it to you as a petition in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, that you will grant that petition today as it is coming from from a humble heart and a contrite spirit. Lord, we pray for an increased sensitivity to the, your voice and the leading of your spirit and for clarity to understand also the spirit's promptings in each person's daily life. Oh Lord, we pray also, Lord, that every, every, every strategy of the enemy and of the adversary and their schemes, Lord, to defraud, rob or cheat us right now from from anything that is rightfully ours would be frustrated and annulled in the name of Jesus Christ. We call forth and pray for a release of provisions, resources and helpers, Lord, that are needed in this particular month and also this year and as we go into the future, as we wait for your tarry and return. Lord, I thank you, Lord, as we wait in anticipation, believing that you will do what you said and that you will bring it to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. And just as Jesus said concerning the power in fasting and prayers, your faith should go up a notch over this period of time in the name of Jesus Christ as you are expecting an elevation, a shifting and a resolution to all issues within your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray also for your healing power that would come upon each person life within its fullness right now because you've said ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find knock and the door shall be open to you we ask that you would heal each person from sickness and disease and from every hurt brokenness and defeat in the name of Jesus Christ whatever strongholds that are blocking your progress within life Lord I pray against those strongholds and I ask you Lord to reveal them to each person that 
that they may know specifically by name to be able to pull them down against their life and their families and they will command them to be broken in Jesus mighty name Lord I pray for each single person also Lord that is listening to this prayer Lord that you would lead and guide them to their God fearing spouse right now in the name of Jesus Christ Lord I pray that you would remove every counterfeit from their lives in the name of Jesus Christ Lord I declare today I pray this blessing over their lives according to number 622 it says the Lord spoke to Moses saying speak to Aaron and his son saying thus you shall bless the people of Israel you shall say to them the Lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace so shall they put my name upon the people of Israel and I will bless them oh Lord bless your people today touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet Holy Spirit do your work Holy Spirit do your work that only you can do to touch your people touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now in Jesus mighty name we pray and believe amen and amen this is pastor robert clancy from narrow path ministries in perth western australia it is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our lord jesus christ shalom 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 and if you've liked this prayer i encourage you to listen to it more than once send it to a family member send it to someone that is participating in the fasting or has done or will do and don't forget precious saints we have plenty of fastings every friday is corporate friday fasting we have three-day fastings every month that is not inclusive of any special events like 21 days or we have the 10 days of repentance to go in line with the 10 days of awe so that we can also repent for this period of time especially as we draw closer to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ so you can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram go to our free website repentancerevival.com so from my family to yours God bless you we love you we are praying for your precious saints shalom shalom shalom